Hello, this is Carissa with Scrub Oak Soaps. We're located in Meredith, New Hampshire, and we're also online at scruboaksoaps.com. Today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of our Sugar Blush Bath Bomb. Sugar Blush is a sweet scented um, bath bomb. It also has a few floral notes in it. We added a little bit of pink sugar to the top of that bath bomb there so it looks nice and pretty. And I like the heart, but we also have it with just kind of abstract um, patterns on top or just a little round circle. A couple of different choices, uh, but I really love how the heart looks, so I think from now on we're going to add hearts to it. So today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of what I call my half bomb. These are half size bath bombs. These are really good for a foot soak or if you don't want too much of the bath bomb in your tub. We usually give these out as samples when you stop in the store or when you order online. So if you want to try one of our half bombs, just let us know. So here we go. All you do is you get your warm bath ready and you put your bath bomb right in. The fizzing is a reaction between citric acid and baking soda. This happens when the product gets wet. So you'll want to store your bath bomb in a place that's nice and cool and dry where it's not going to have too much humidity. You don't want to keep your bath bombs in the bathroom you want to keep them outside of the bathroom until you're ready to use them. Otherwise, uh, they can cause them to activate before you're ready to use them, and you won't get this nice fizz that we've got going here. We also have some really good skin-loving oils added to our bath bombs. We have sweet almond oil, palm kernel oil, uh, I'm sorry, apricot kernel oil, um, rice bran oil, jojoba oil, and we have uh, mica powder for the colorant on our bath bombs. That's the same thing that you'll find in mineral makeups. It's a cosmetic grade mica that we add to the bath bombs. And the only thing in here that is considered to be um, not really natural would be the emulsifier we use, which is polysorbate 80. That's added in there to mix the oils with the water, and it also mixes the micas into the water so you don't have the mica powder sticking all over your bathtub and the oils won't stick to your tub either. Um, if we didn't add that in there, your tub would be very slippery, and in this case, it would be very, very pink. So we just add a little bit of that to be enough to keep your tub from getting too dirty. Uh, otherwise, you would be able to tell where there is soap residue anywhere in your bathtub, even if you don't think there's any residue. So, um, but anyway, beyond that, we have cornstarch added in there. Um, that helps to soften the water. And that's about it. It looks like our little half bomb is all done fizzing out. You can see we have some fun swirls on top from that pink sugar that was added. And down below we have a really nice pink color in the tub. And this is easily one of my favorite bath bombs now. I love the way it smells, I love the way it looks, I love the way it behaves in the water. This is really one of the best bombs that I've made so far. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, feel free to get in touch with me. You can feel free to order through our website or stop into the store. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. You can leave a comment on the video, send us a message on Facebook, email, or just come in and talk to me in person. I love to talk shop. Enjoy!